Welcome back, Gigabyte fans. My name is Leon, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and overview of one of our ultra durable motherboards. This board is our Z170X UD5TH. The TH at the end of that model name represents Thunderbolt. So we're going to go over the outside of the box and then we'll take all the parts out and we'll look at the board in more in depth to show the different technologies that we've placed onto it. So from the outside of the box, you can actually see it supports DDR4. The fact that it's a Z170, we know that it's using the newest Intel chipset, the new 100 series. It supports the DDR4. It has Thunderbolt 3, like we mentioned earlier, with dual connectors. It supports USB 3.1, since we're actually using the official Intel chip. And we also have HDMI 2.0 support. And right here, like we mentioned, it's using that Z170 chipset from Intel. Let's turn it around and you guys can see what else we have on it. On the back, you can actually see that we have the, the spec differences or benchmark differences of Thunderbolt. So from Thunderbolt 2 being at 20 gigabits per second, we're now at Thunderbolt 3 with double the bandwidth. So we're at 40 gigabits per second. Overall, for the number of devices that these connectors can support, it supports up to 12 devices. But at the end of each channel, you can actually have a 4K display. So that sort of brings you up to 14 devices if you're counting that display as well. We also have the USB Type-C connectors, two of them, which are used for Thunderbolt and USB 3.1. And then because, like I mentioned earlier, we're using the official Intel chip, so we do have that extreme performance and 32 gigabits of bandwidth capable for that controller to use for your USB 3.1 devices. And of course, we always use long lifespan, ultra durable, uh, solid black capacitors. We have the two ounce copper PCB design. We've also introduced metal shielding previously before, and we'll talk about it a little bit more in our video. And we also have Gigabyte's exclusive amp up audio technology, a built-in advanced turbo B clock for overclockers or people who want to push the limits of their system, as well as the next generation M.2 with PCI Gen 3x4 and an Intel Gigabit E uh, LAN and also the HDMI 2.0 connector. All right, so let's open the box up and we'll show you guys what you get inside and we'll also cover the board in a few minutes. Now that we have all the accessories out of the box and the board right here, let's go over the accessories so you know what you get. So we have a multilingual installation guide for you, a user's manual, as well as four SATA ports, uh, four SATA connectors, two right angle connectors, and two straight connectors, a padded rear I.O., driver disks for you to install your system, a G connector. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the G connector, you guys can definitely check out some of our other unboxing videos where we go in more depth about this G connector, uh, such as the video for our Z170X Gaming G1. We also have an SLI bridge, a case badge for the ultra durable motherboard, and we've also included some of the plugs for the rear I.O. Sometimes uh, a lot of users like to use their own discrete graphics cards, so we want to make sure that we don't collect dust in the rear I.O. ports, so we've provided two HDMI plugs as well as a display port plug. So let's get this cleaned up really quick and we'll go over the motherboard and we'll talk about the different features that you'll find on our Z170X UD5TH. Now with the trusty pointer, earlier we were talking about how this board supports DDR4. Now DDR4, these DIMM slots are actually one-sided lock, they have one-sided locking mechanisms as you can see here. The other side you just need to push the DIMM slot, all, uh, the DIMMs all the way down to the bottom and lock at the top. Right next to that we have our debug LED, we have a clear CMOS switch, a power button and a reset button. These are very useful when you're testing on an open bench before you put the board into a case to make sure that it works, that your system works. Right here we have an ATX24 pin, two USB 3.0 connectors which give you four total front panel USBs, fan headers, additional ATX power, six SATA ports or three SATA Express ports. It might be a little bit dark to see, but there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six SATA connectors or three SATA Express ports. 
we have our front panel headers and this is where that G connector is gonna go for any of you guys that wanna do some cable management, it's very useful for you guys to use there as well, as well as during the installation. We have another set of fan pin headers. We have two USB 2.0s for a total of four as well in the front panel. We have a TPM pin header. We have COM port pin headers and then your front panel audio. So right here, these are mainly most of the pin headers that you'll find on the board as along with some of the fan pin headers around the board and your CPU power connectors. Right here, you can actually see that we have three PCI Express slots that are look a little bit different from what some of you guys are, are used to. These are actually covered with the Gigabyte One Piece stainless steel metal shielding. Now this metal shielding is useful in various ways, such as protecting this PCI slot when you have a heavy graphics card installed, or when you're shipping it or bringing it to a LAN party or LAN event. It also prevents any possible ESD or interference because the points right here are actually soldered onto that ground level. So it's actually grounding the slot to prevent any interference coming from the board to the card or the card to the board. Right next to it, we have an M.2 slot. Now this M.2 supports a 32 gigabit per second transfer, and it has various lengths. It supports the 42, 60, or 80. Now this is a socket three for those of you guys that aren't familiar with M.2, and it's very fast compared to our traditional SATA connectors. Right above that, we have our Turbo B clock. Now with our Turbo B clock, it gives users an advantage because we're now able to push our system to higher limits by modifying the base clock of the CPU. So previously where you were getting an unstable overclock, with this Turbo B clock, you're now able to push your CPU to a very stable level at the higher performance range. All right, so moving down to the audio section, right here you can actually see that we have this yellow trace path, and this noise guard actually prevents any interference from the digital side of the board to the analog side of the board. Now this is this comes exclusive with Gigabyte's Amp Up Audio technology, and this area lights up, and we're using special Muse capacitors to give better audio characteristics for users that prefer to have that. Moving to the rear I.O., you can actually see that this one supports multiple audio jack connections. It has a gigabit ethernet, it has four USB 2.0s and four USB 3.0s, along with the two Type-C connectors. Now these two Type-C connectors are used for Thunderbolt 3, but with this new generation launch of the 100 series platform, these connectors are also used for USB 3.1. And next to that, we have a PS2 above it and an HDMI below it. Now just to show you guys what the USB Type-C is capable of, I have our trusty Gigabyte 3-in-1 charge cable and with a Type-C connector right here. So just to show you the benefits of a Type-C, it's actually a reversible connector, so when you connect it, you can connect it one way, or when you connect it the other way, it'll work as well. So you can connect this port in both directions, and that's what we mean when we say this port is a reversible port. All right. So aside from that, just to give you guys an uh, count, there's five fan pin headers, um, not counting your CPU optional fan. For system fan, there's four system fans, which is one, two, three, and a, one more right here. We have one for our CPU fan, and another one that's called CPU optional, which we use for a water pump, and you can actually set that to run at 100%, because you need that water, water pump flowing all the time, as it doesn't make that much noise, but it needs the power to run. So basically, this covers the overview and unboxing of our Z170X UD5TH motherboard. If you guys like what you saw, please do like and subscribe. Check back often to our Gigabyte Motherboard and Bricks channel and comment below. We love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you guys are interested in any other Gigabyte motherboards, the boards to my right will put some annotations in there and links for you guys to click so you can check out those pages as well. We'll see you guys next time and we're, we're happy that you were able to join us.